Recently, in the competitive Ultimate community, we've seen a pretty significant resurgence of Pichu, who many thought was gone from the highest level forever after the huge nerfs in Patch 3.1. Performances from players like Arfang, Void, and Black Twins have had people in the community start to question if those Pichu nerfs truly made the character unusable. So, with this video, we're going to cover the recent results of some high-profile Pichu players to see if we can get a better answer to all these big questions. And if you guys are looking to play Pichu at a high level, then go to ProGuides.com where we have a ton of resources to help you out with getting better at Smash Bros. Courses from eSam, MK Leo, and Zero will have you guys competing in the next major. Go find yourself a coach, watch some content, get better at Smash. All at ProGuides using the description link below. Alright, let's jump right into the video. Before we dive into the results of Pichu players, I want to first refresh your memory on the balance changes that Pichu has seen over the course of Ultimate's life cycle so far. Pichu's early domination in the game led to slight tweaks to the character in the 2.0 and 3.0 patches to rein in his power level a little bit. In patch 2.0, Pichu got a very small nerf to the hit lag on Pummel. In 3.0, the damage on his neutral B, Thunder Jolt, was slightly lowered and Pichu's hit stun and landing animations were adjusted to make the character easier to hit. For a point of reference, Pound 2019 was the last major event played on the patch before 3.0, but it appears that these tiny nerfs weren't satisfactory enough and on May 30th on patch 3.1, Pichu was gutted unlike any character has been so far in Ultimate's patch cycle. Larger hurtbox, less knockback on F-Tilt, one of Pichu's best kill moves, more lag on F-Smash, and on top of all that, every single electrical move besides Pummel and Volt Tackle now caused even more self-damage to the character, making Pichu's poor survivability even worse. For another point of reference, Smash and Splash 5 was just one of the last major events before patch 3.1 was used in tournaments. And looking back with a new rise of Pichu in the last couple of months, it really seems like people jumping ship from Pichu just might have been an overreaction. I'm not by any means saying that those nerfs weren't huge, but it feels like some players chose to quickly jump to another character instead of tweaking their Pichu play a little bit. For example, let's take a look at Void. He appeared to stop playing Pichu after his seventh place at the Thunder Smash Invitational. The event wasn't catastrophically bad by any means, as he lost to Nico, Larry Lur, and Dark Wizzy while beating Esam, but this appears to be the point at which he leaned away from playing the rat and leaned more onto Joker. This then caused his run of iffy events like 49th at Evo and Shine, 25th at SmashCon, and 13th at SwitchFest. But when he finally started to again work Pichu back into the mix alongside Sheik, he finally looked like he was returning to his old form. His Pichu let him reverse 3-0 Prodigy, took Nairo to his last stock at main stage, and played a critical role in his victory over Leon at Glitch 7. And remember, this is the exact same Pichu Pichu from 3.1 without any additional changes. Another example of Pichu potentially being a false scapegoat comes from the newly more well-known Arfang. His losses at major events were pretty much the same on both sides of the nerf. Before he lost to Wrath and MK Leo at Momocon into Buzz and Leon at Smash and Splash. After he lost to Nairo and Abadango at CEO and Prodigy and Kameme at Evo. But this is leaving out two big outliers for Arfang. First is the 2GG Grand Tour in South Carolina where he finished third after running through losers because of an early loss to Donkey Vias, where he went on to take a set off fatality to ultimately be eliminated by Suze Lucario. Second is Arfang's huge seventh place finish at the Big House 9. Before being knocked out of the event by Zachary and Samsora, he beat Trella, Wadi, and Light. And guess what? Both of these runs were the best runs of his ultimate career, and they happened post-nerf. And we've got one more example in the form of Black Twins' run at EGLX the run that incited the creation of this video. The event was far from the most stacked event because most of the top talent was fighting over at Nightmare on Smashville for the last summit spot, so second place isn't the most impressive. But no one could argue that taking a set off Esam isn't. And Esam did end up double eliminating him in Grands, but isn't there really no better example of how good Pichu is? Pikachu is regarded by many as one of the best characters in the game. In fact, you can learn more about that and the differences between Pikachu and Pichu by Esam himself on our website now in the description. He has a great course on that, so take a look. And the fact that Black Twins was able to beat the best Pikachu in the world with Pichu speaks volumes to me. So to answer the question, is Pichu back? Well, yes, he very much is. But the character really never left. The crazy performances Pichu mains are putting up are on the exact same post 3.1 patch that many claim was now unusable. Pichu hasn't really gotten that much 
much worse. Maybe this shows that character experience matters a whole lot more than where a character is on players tier lists. Or that you should be more critical of your perception of characters within Ultimate, because even when you think the tournament results are telling you the truth, the real story requires a closer look. But what you take away from this video is up to you to decide. Let us know down below what you think about Pichu's return to the spotlight. Are you guys happy to see the glass cannon rat return to the spotlight? Or are you kind of sick of Pichu from the early Smash Ultimate meta? Make sure you click that sub button and that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to get better at Smash, then click that description link below. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck in your next few games.